today on Brilliant Business TV, we have Naringa, elite leader of billion dollar beauty company, inspiration to thousands of people, leading huge teams to a better, more meaningful and beautiful tomorrow. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome to Brilliance Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. Let me let me just sort my jacket out. We have a wonderful guest today, Neringa. Everything starts with great leadership and we have a great leader. So I am looking forward to a great conversation today. We are streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. We're also on the E360 TV network under Fresh Takes. Go and go to Apple TV, Fire TV, Android, Roku and many more. We're also streaming on mspnewsglobal.com and we're also on Business Innovators Radio Network. I want to make an official shout out to our show sponsors, Dreamweaver Artist Ranch. Let's bring in our incredible guest, Naringa. Hey, Naringa, great to have you here. Hello, Mark. Hello, everybody. Thank you for inviting me. It's my pleasure. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today, Naringa. Let's get started with the show. Can you start by sharing a little bit about your story and what you do, Naringa? <laughs> Uh, I am. I came to United States 20 years ago, a very young student seeking for adventure, for better life, you know, for happiness, chasing my dreams. And of course, uh, I worked very hard until I had my babies, my two little daughters. And you know, one day I understood I came here to build my dreams, not somebody else's. And I was looking for opportunity. What can I do to impact other people's life, to my kids to be proud of me and to do something that I love to do? So I was looking for opportunity and opportunity came to me and found me. And everything in life happens for a reason. It started from my burned hair. <laughs> you will not believe it, Mark. Well, my hairdresser, she just burned my hair. <laughs> so I was looking for solution. I was looking for help for my hair. And I found not only the product that helped, but I found a huge, huge opportunity, possibility to have a totally different life, my dream life, which I was always was thinking about it. So it's all started from my pride here. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Oh. That's a great story, Naringa, and I am sure your children are very, very proud. You have gone on to create great success. What is your secret? Yes, now many people know that I lead huge teams in uh, Lithuania, UK, like we have 10 countries, United States, and uh, I, I am... Uh, helping other people to become leaders. And people ask secret of my success. You know, Mark, I knew exactly from my childhood what I didn't want in my life. I didn't want an ordinary life like my parents. I wanted my life to be extraordinary, interesting, colorful, inspiring. That was the most important. So from my early ages, I had this vision where I am, I am going, what I want to be, what I want to do for people. So do you know any successful person who became successful without knowing what he wants from life? Probably not. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, so we all want better life. We want success. We want to travel the world. But to want it is not enough. Anyone can dream, but not everyone makes dreams reality. Why do you think? Why is that? Because... The way to your dreams, the way to success, it's not easy. It's a journey full of challenges, full of yeah. bumps. And most people, they don't see it. People, what they see, they see that top of the mountain, 
they see that you know 10 percent of success they don't see 90 percent uh, sacrifice hard work determination sleepless nights nights they do not notice that and how many times i have heard Oh, Neringa, you're so successful. Uh, you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, and I always tell people, do you think that successful people, they just land uh, on that top of the mountain from the sky? <laughs> of course not. They climb that mountain from the bottom. Like we don't, success doesn't come to you. You go to success. And to be honest, uh, in my journey, I noticed we grow to success. We need to grow. And you know, Mark, growth is painful. Growth is hard. People try to avoid pain. They don't want pain. That's why not every person becomes successful. So you have to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? And are you hungry enough for success? You know what? I was. You know, Mark, life kicked me hard, punched me in my nose so many times. But I always had this belief that I am worth more and I can be more. Like uh, I had this vision of when I was a little girl, I will be living in the United States. Uh, and, you know, I did everything in my power to get here. So, and believe it or not, today is my daughter's birthday. And 12 years ago, uh, in, do in doctor's cabinet, I heard the terrible news, you will not become mom, never. You can imagine uh, what, what my reaction, how it hurted her. It was so painful. And I screamed at the doctor, nonsense. I will become mom. I am forced to be mother and I will do everything in my power to become mother one day, to hold that baby in my arms. So what I want to see, believe is everything. I always believed in myself. Because miracles start to happen when you believe in yourself, right? Then there is no Yes, nobody can stop you and get in your way if you believe in yourself. So I believed and I made a decision that day in doctor's uh, room cabinet to never give up. In three years, it was three years journey, doctors, painful, disappointment, stress, tears, everything. And it, it wasn't easy. But, you know, Mark, today I have, today is my daughter's nine years birthday. <laughs> so what would happen? So many people, when they want something in life, when they reach for their goals, what happens? They give up. They just, oh, I give up. Oh, it's too difficult. Oh, I have no patience. I need it fast. I need it easy. There is no easy way to success. So once you give up, it becomes your habit. And but if you give up on the way to your goals, you will never win. And winners will never give up. So I noticed in my life, in my business, everywhere, when life prepares you a gift, it's usually wrapped in huge uh, problems, challenges, and life is checking you. Are you worse? Will you give up on the way to your dreams or not? People usually, they give up and they do not reach what they want. So and what, what happens? Then all the dreams, all the uh, that life they want go to the richest place in the world. And it's cemetery, as sad as it sounds. So I didn't want that. I understood that I need uh, to make a decision to believe in myself and never give up. So today I have not one. I have two little girls. Too little Beautiful. sunshine. And if I didn't believe in myself, if I didn't make a decision, if I uh, had no patience, if I listened to other noise that, you know, adopt a baby, adopt a dog or like buy a dog, whatever, I would not have my little sunshines today. Not one, but two. And doctors told me no. So I have turned my pain into victory so many times. And same story repeated on my way to success in my business, which is very huge right now. So, but it was so many swings and roundabouts, so many challenges, disappointment, rejection. But now when I see everything, all this journey, I know that everything is possible, everything. And will it be difficult? Yes. Will it be scary? Oh, yes. But will it be worth it? Trust me, it will be worth it for the person you will become on the way or when you will start growing and you will start changing. Mark, you know what? We choose our role in life. We are the winners or we are the victims. I didn't want to be as a victim. You can, you know, be the winner or you can buy popcorn, sit at the back in the movie theater and, you know, watch your life passing by. I didn't want that. I wanted to be the hero of my movie, the hero of my life, creator of my life. And 
remember, I want just to inspire many people maybe who will watch. Nobody will come, will knock on your door and make you successful. Nobody but you and your actions. And nobody will force you to take those actions, just you. Everybody wants a dream life. They want success, but most people don't take it seriously. I wasn't dreaming it. I was building it every day, consistently, nonstop, with lots of passion and lots of action, what is most important. Uh, and I gave myself yeah, no other option. <laughs> yes, so. I have to agree. People don't see all the rejection, all the no's that you get, the times where you're stressed and really struggling and really persevering and putting on a brave face to get to your goals. I've had the journey myself over the last eight years building my own success knowing us. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And there will be people that come and support you on your journey, but no one is going to do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. Yeah. Some great words of wisdom there. Share with us the price of success and some of your challenges and sacrifices. Yes, I like to talk about that because people, they see one side. They don't see that there is a price. You know what? Uh, nothing is free in life, right? Nothing is free. And you have to give up something to go up. My success was built on failures, on challenges, on pain, on rejection, on so much sacrifice. You know, Mark, what, what I noticed, most people, they want to win, but they don't want to wake up early or stay late. Most people want to go to heaven, to paradise, but they don't want to die, right? So this is the same in the success. So I had to sacrifice a lot. And sacrifice is inevitable. I want people to understand this one. If you do not sacrifice something to have what you want in life, then all these things that you want, all that life that you want will become your sacrifice. Listen to this. And this is so important. And this is your choice. You know, Mark, I sacrificed my beliefs, my old beliefs about myself, that I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I didn't have self-confidence six I, years ago. Yeah. I had zero. You know what I used to do? I used to borrow confidence from successful people. Because without confidence, you can't move, start moving the needle. So I used to borrow it until, you know, I got it naturally. So I, uh, I had to change my thinking, uh, transform my uh, perception, how I see life, how I see situations and people. I had to sacrifice my victim, victim's mentality. Yeah. I understood that life happens for me, not to me. All yeah. the problems, all the We're challenges. Creators but for me to make me stronger, to give me lessons. So I invested in my growth a lot because people want to, to be successful and some people don't want to invest to learn something new. I invested and I still do every day. I learn yes. every day. Uh, so I change my habits, watching TV, going to parties with my friends. You know, I change my circle. All these people who used to be around me six years ago, they're not around anymore. <laughs> and I, I've you. been there. I have been there. <laughs> you know me, what I'm talking. And I'm so happy and grateful for that. Because if you want to be successful, I give you advice. Surround yourself with people who uh, uh, help you grow, who help you learn something. And stay close to them. And your life will change. I, I sacrificed my fears. I had so many fears. You know what I did? I killed them with my action. Do what you are scared of. You scared to go live? Six years ago, I would never go live. Oh, I was so scared of going live on Facebook. <laughs> I used to say um, um, and get really nervous and not know what to say. People don't see that side, Naringa, and that's a great point, that it's a self-development journey. So eight okay. years ago, I was a nervous wreck. I had not the best circle around me. I have been through all of this. I've had all of the fears, the bad mindset, and I program my mind with new belief systems all of the time and overcome fears. You're making such uh, great points that people don't see the journey yeah. of all of the, the, the steps you have to take to become the version 
of that successful person. This is a journey. It's a journey. It's not a lottery ticket. Uh, so, you know, Mark, I had to sacrifice my old life. I had to close many doors that led nowhere so I can open new ones. I had to sacrifice that woman I was six years ago in order to become the woman yes. I am today. That strong woman for whom my, my kids are proud of me. You know, I know that I do so, so much, not only for my family, but for the world. So I took responsibility for my future, for my kids' future. And uh, if you think that price is too high, then wait until you get the bill of regret. Yes. Because it was hard, but it was so rewarding. <laughs> and now I'm grateful for, to myself that I did all that. What influenced your biggest breakthrough? What influenced me? What influenced your biggest breakthrough? Uh, my, uh, you know, uh, mindset and my mentors, because I have a few mentors who uh, helped me grow. So John Maxwell, if you know, leadership guru. Yes. So I am yes, a, a student of John Maxwell for many years. And also uh, there is another man I want to mention him, his neuros. He was probably the main reason to my breakthrough, which happened last year, because uh, after uh, cleaning all my emotional blocks, because we all do have them, you know, I became unstoppable and my energy multiplied to like thousands of times. So I became I a lead in the company. Uh, I, 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 like I grew even bigger team i went on stage to talk to you in, in live 30,000 people in arena we, we also we also took part in the movie together so many things happen when you uh, start looking for help when you start looking for answers to your questions so i started growing so fast with the right people and i'm so grateful to them forever i actually know neo he's a friend and i'm also his publicist as well so yeah. neo is a great guy how to achieve goals, dreams, what person you have to become? Yes, you first of all, you have to start changing, start growing, which is very painful. Uh, determination, you have to make a decision. Determination, focus on what you want in your life. Believe yes. in yourself, passion, energy, lots of lots of action. And that is the secret source of all of this. And you have to understand success like life, like season, it's a cycle. First, we try something, then we fail, then we learn, then we improve and repeat. You have to try to fail. You need to fail so you can learn some lessons and you need to learn so you can improve. So it's a cycle. And some people break the cycle they don't understand. They fail, they quit. They fail, they do not grow. <laughs> yeah. So when you understand how it works, how the universe works, you will become unstoppable, I promise you. You're making me laugh because I remember as well when I first started my entrepreneurship journey in sales and network marketing, I remember I was starting online selling and yeah. if I would get a no from someone, it would be <laughs> devastating. You I would know. take it personally. You would feel rejected and feel that like, what are you doing wrong? And I know I'm at a, at a point where when I get no's, it really just goes over the top of my head. It really is. It just does not phase me at all. All right. <laughs> I know. I've been there. I know. <laughs> How to become the creator of your life? Just to make a decision that you want to be one. As I told you, you choose your role in life. You be the victim or you be creator. You be like the actor or you will be the main, you know, producer of your life. It's your choice and nobody will make that choice but you. It's a decision, it's belief, it's all what I was talking about, it's only that. And you decide that I, I can do everything. Everything is my power, everything is in my hands and just go for it. And even it will be difficult, life will check you. You will go through many things, but it will grow you. All these challenges, you will not notice how the universe will help you. You will get what you want in your life. I checked it so many times, Mark, in my business, in my life. Be scared, just go and do anyway. Go where you I, I love it. Be scared, but go for it anyway. Now, Naringa, people can connect with you on Instagram at Naringa at 
you, you say your at name. I don't want to make a mess up of it. <laughs> yeah, it's Ned Neringa Petrulita. And who would you like to connect with you, Neringa? Who should reach out and send you a DM? Who can you support? How can you help them? Yes, I, I, I want a few minutes to, to explain to people yeah, and they understand what they do. Uh, so uh, about success also, because success for me doesn't mean how much money you make or what possessions you have. For me, success is how many lives you can impact, how many people yes. lives, yeah, and people looking up to you. So uh, for I am blessed because I I'm attracting people who want to do that. Like Mark, from my early childhood, uh, I wanted to be significant, significant. And there is a difference between success and significance. Success is subjective. It's about you. I'm not about me. My main goal, uh, I want to impact other people's lives. And this is significant. So I am attracting to life many people who want uh, to uh, be part of somebody's life, to make people's life better. And I love the phrase, people will connect with it, uh, though my people. Like, ask somebody if all your dreams came true, would, you, would it change your world? The world or just your world? If all your dreams came true, would it change the world or just your world? I don't want just my world to change. I want to, to impact many people's lives. So, And I'm blessed that I found incredible vehicle to impact people's lives, to move from success to significance. I'm helping people. Else, and I know why I'm doing this, because I'm genuinely care. I want to help people to believe in themselves, uh, to go forward no matter what, uh, to be creators of their life. And this journey is second to none because I'm in beauty company, in self-development, it's all together. It's like university of life. And of course, mostly women, mostly women come to us. And what happens to them? They come those little seeds and they become those beautiful flowers. They become confident because I was not, uh, I, I was that seed six years ago. So they become confident, more beautiful, more younger because of our products. They start uh, traveling the world, growing, learning and making money and helping other people on the way. So I'm writing my own story and you can do it too. And don't think that your dreams are too good to be true. Because I want to tell everybody, your life, you deserve a life that is too good to be true. And you deserve like to have abundance in your life in all the ways you wish for it. Beautiful words, and I agree totally. Just tell us your Instagram handle once more, Neringa. Yeah, so it's Neringa Petrulita. It's basically, it's my name. And you can just DM me, and we can talk. Because we have business in 10 countries, and we're helping many, many people, changing lives, <laughs> like we like from different angles angles from everywhere Neringa it's been my absolute pleasure to have a conversation with you thank you so much for being my guest today thank you Mark for inviting me thank you you are so so welcome thank you everyone for joining us today on Brilliant Business TV conversations with leading experts in business until next time bye for now <laughs>